Keysight Technology has sent us one of their newest scopes for us to use on the show and do an unboxing of. Let's see what's inside. Well, this is some uh, very high strength packing tape. So you can see it has additional banding through it. This would make it stronger than your average packing tape. So this is a smaller oscilloscope meant for entry level work. So your, this could be your first scope. Let's see what we got in the box. Some probes, a pamphlet with people on it, packing list. Oh, it has a calibration certificate. Good. This is just the safety manual. This is like one of those what are those things you used to use to find your way around maps? Don't worry, we'll get to the scope itself very shortly. So this is a brand new product. I will be just as surprised as you are as I open it up because I've not seen it before. So you have your probe here and then you could clip it onto this and that would give you your clip-on probe. Looks like the ground reference goes in here. Oh, it swivels around, that's good. What's this? Christmas planet. Hmm, don't know what that is. All right, now it's time to the real meat and potatoes. Here it comes. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's actually got pretty decent size to it. I was worried that it was gonna be really small when I saw the size of the box, but this isn't too bad. Okay, so it's a two channel oscilloscope, 70 megahertz, not super fast. What's on the back? What do we have? We have a USB hookup. Looks like the um, ethernet is not populated. I believe the uh, goal with this is to have more of an entry level scope for people who are just getting started. All right, shall we boot it up? Oh, nice bright lights. It's actually brighter than my Tektronics. Oh, there's two fans. There's one on the back and one on the side. Mega zoom technology, huh? Well, we'll see about that. Wow, it booted up pretty fast. This must be the mega zoom technology. <laughs> oh, you can save to USB. That's cool. I like the menu system. Add measurement, settings. Okay, source one. Now, how do we change this? Do I probably use this knob here? There we go. Push to select. Okay. Let's go with frequency. Cool. All right, let's back out. There we go. Okay, we've hooked up an old function generator to it so we can basically predict what we're gonna see on the oscilloscope. I don't, this doesn't look like it came with a manual. I guess it's all online unless it's in the certificate book. Nope, I don't think there's a manual in there. Eh, let's see here. So let's go into measurement, type frequency. Okay, there it is. Okay, so if we take the knob to one, then we're at one kilohertz, which means if we jump to one megahertz, no, no edges, come on, you can find the edges. You can find them. There we go. Okay, the DSOX1102G oscilloscope from Keysight. We did the unboxing, we took a look at it. It was pretty easy to get it up and going and do a test with a function generator. In a future episode, we're gonna compare this to other scopes, but for now, we're just gonna use it around the shop.